we've been looking at um, you know, what is the unmet need that is not, um, you know, being satisfied with our, our guests and our hosts. And using, you know, the 40 currencies coming in, 60 currencies being out, paid out to, to hosts, what, you know, so what's the benefit of the marginal one? Um, and there is, you know, certainly uh, there are people that, um, are active and, and might want to make payments in, in various cryptocurrencies. What we want to understand is, you know, what's that benefit? And is, is there not enough options for our hosts and our guests today? Um, and then, you know, just like with any other currency, you know, if we're going to accept it, how are we going to manage it? So um, as, you can, as you can imagine, we have currencies coming in and that we uh, manage that and hold on to that for a period of time before we pay the hosts. And that causes um, risks on our uh, financial statements. And, and so we, we monitor what the net exposure is and we hedge um, to make sure that we don't have unnecessary gains and losses as a result of just the changes of the value of the currencies. So if we're going to, we do that with other currencies, if we're going to do that with, with crypto, what are the available, um, you know, alternatives for us to hedge positions um, if we're going to be receiving and making payments? And so when you look at a, you know, kind of an end-to-end -end process for what you need to set up, um, how are you going to receive a currency? How are you going to hold that currency? And how you will pay out that currency? And in the interim, you're going to hedge that currency, that foreign currency, non-US dollar currency. What's the all-in cost? So um, we haven't, um, you know, we, we haven't put anything in place. We're not accepting any uh, cryptocurrencies uh, right now, um, th that certainly will always be on our consideration for when uh, the you know when if ever there's a right time for us to start accepting um, those forms of currencies as payment.